Hello everyone, out of sheer boredom and in honor of me making the remake for my film Crocodilian, I have decided to compile a list of all the crocodile slash alligator films that I have seen. This list only includes movies that I have seen, so I'm sorry if one of your favorites isn't on here, but without further ado, let's begin this list. Alright, so coming in at number one we have Lake Placid from 1999. This is my favorite creature feature of the 90s, and also probably my favorite crocodile movie ever made. The animatronics in this look amazing, the CGI, while a little dated, is still beautiful, and of course Betty White's in it, so what's there not to love? So let's move on to number two. Alright, so coming in at number two, we have Alligator, 1980. This is the film that started the myth of if you flush an alligator down the sewer, it'll come back years later. And this movie's ironically disturbing in one specific scene involving a kid in a pool. If you know the movie and you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. But let's move on to number three now. Alright, so coming in at number three, we have Primeval from 2007. This movie is based off the legendary crocodile named Gustav, who's killed about 300 people. This is a very <laughs> intense film, probably the most brutal crocodile movie I've ever seen, but... It's worth checking out. It took me a long time to track down a DVD of it, but I have it now, and let's move on to number four. All right, coming in at number four, we have Blood Surf from 2001. This is one of my favorite crocodile films ever. Probably the only reason I even downloaded the app Tubi TV, which is where you can watch this. It is so good and so bad at the same time. I just love everything about it. And currently I'm on the hunt to find a DVD for it to add to my Killer Croc collection, which I might do a video about. But now, let's move on to number 5. Coming in at number 5, we have Rogue from 2007. It appears 2007 was a big year for Crocodile movies as 3 came out. Uh, but yeah, this is probably the most canal-biting, intense movie I've seen featuring a crocodile. Even more intense than Primeval. Primeval War is more brutal, but yeah, I would definitely recommend it. It's free on Amazon Prime Video right now, so go check it out. Coming in at number 6, we have Crocodile from 2000. This is directed by Toby Hooper, and this is definitely not his greatest movie, but it's an enjoyable one. It's a run-of-the-mill early 2000s sci-fi movie featuring a killer crocodile, and it's all free on YouTube, so go ahead and check it out if you want to. And at number 7, we have Crocodile 2 Death Swamp or Death Roll. This is the sequel to our previous entry, and there's nothing much about it. It is kind of the same thing, just with a different setting and kind of a different way they get introduced to the crocodile. But it's still a fun movie, and I would highly recommend checking it out. It's also free on YouTube, so you have really no excuse to check it out. So uh, let's move on to number 8. And at number 8, we have Lake Placid 2 from 2007. This one tries to capture the magic and wittiness of the original, but ultimately falls flat on its face, just like the rest of the sequels. But overall, this is probably one of the more better ones out of the rest on this list. But I've only seen the Lake Placid movies up until the final chapter, so who knows? Maybe Anaconda and uh, Legacy will be better. And at number 9, we have Lake Placid 3 from 2010. This movie provides nothing new to the table, and it's overall just the same movie, but it does provide the character of Reba, played by Nancy Butler. She appears throughout the rest of the series until Lake Placid Legacy, but other than that, the movie's kind of the same formula, which will be the rest of these films, but overall, this movie's pretty enjoyable, and I would recommend checking it out if you could. And at number 10, we have Lake Placid, the final chapter from 2012. This movie brings nothing new to the table, except for the inclusion of Robert England as a character who reoccurs one more time in Lake Placid vs. Anaconda. But other than that, this movie's pretty basic compared to the other sequels. And overall, you know, it's, it's kind of bland, but it is a fun time, and I would recommend watching it if you've already seen the other two sequels. Compared to those, this one's kind of boring, not too much, but it does have some good gore, so check it out if you want to. And at number 11, we have Crawl from 2019. This movie is pretty claustrophobic in some areas, and the alligator CGI isn't that bad. Just to avoid people getting all nervous when watching this movie, this is a spoiler warning if you don't want to be spoiled. The dog does survive in this movie, but yeah, overall, this movie is pretty fun. It's an enjoyable and a very intense ride till the very end. But now let's move on to number 12. And at number 12, we have Croc from... 2007, yet another 2007 crocodile movie. 
this movie doesn't provide much, and frankly, this is the part in the list where things start getting crappy, so just brace in. But overall, this movie is decent, only if you're a true Killer Crocodile fan, I would recommend watching this, but yeah, it's, it's not that good. And at number 13, we have Blackwater, also from 2007. This movie is very claustrophobic, and it's not a bad movie, it's just really boring, at least to me. I couldn't really get invested in it, and it was one of the harder crocodile movies to sit through. But the CGI, for little that there is, is alright, but most of the time they used a live crocodile and blended it in with the actors, so props to that. But let's move on to number 14, which really starts getting bad. And at number 14, we have Alligator to the Mutation. This is literally just a rehash of the first film and tries to capture that same feeling that the original had, but ultimately it falls flat on its face and is pretty boring. It uses stock footage from the original movie and is just a boring movie all throughout. I would only recommend to this if you're a really big fan of the first one, but even then, I don't think you would really enjoy this one. At number 15, we have Croczilla or Million Dollar Crocodile. This movie was horrible in my opinion. I'm sorry if you enjoyed it, but I hated it. The CGI looks decent for a foreign film, but other than that, it's awful. The kills absolutely suck in this movie. They played the crocodile to be this like huge scary beast when it doesn't do jack crap to the characters even though they were right there in front of it. And the poster makes it look so big when in reality it's not even as big as the shark from Jaws. Wouldn't recommend to this movie even if you are a Killer Croc fan. Just stay away from it. It's not good. And to end off this list, we have the worst crocodile movie I've ever seen, Freshwater from 2016. It's not actually a crocodile this time, it's an albino alligator, and it looks awful. The CGI is worse than the Lake Placid sequels. It has a somewhat decent plot twist, but doesn't pay off very well. The kills are better than Croxilla in this, but this movie was boring and very hard to sit through. I wouldn't even recommend this to diehard crocodile fans. This is just horrible and an awful movie. And that was my list for all the crocodile movies I've seen. If I were to recommend any, it would be the first five on this list, and then maybe, if you really want to, indulge in the rest of the top ten. And if you really, really want to, go with the rest, but avoid maybe Freshwater, because that movie really sucks. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video, and hopefully at, you would at least check out Lake Placid, which was my favorite crocodile movie of all time. But tell me in the comments, which one was your favorite Crocodile movie, and which one did I forget to include on this list? This was only the ones I've seen, but I'm always able to take recommendations. But other than that, I'm Super Mario fan, and I hope you enjoyed this list.